right now. It's getting colder, darker. We have been having some great entertainment. I appreciate your patience. If not for you, we would not be able to bring you the entertainment we have this evening. So give yourselves an applause, please. Now I bring to the stage from Middle Kingdom, Caroline D. Mercier.
and he missed him greatly, but he didn't talk much about him. And years went by, four or five years, and the horse would have been a very advanced age. And he finally asked, what has happened to my horse? And they said, oh, well, he died a couple of years ago. And Ola thought, oh, all right. <laughs> I overcame that prophecy. Now there is irony in this story. And I, I had told the judges that this is the life and death of Oleg. Oleg said, show me his body. They said, well, all right. And they took him far from the palace where they had a graveyard for the animals. That they just had their bones out there. And he looked at the bones of his horse. And legend tells us he put his foot on the head, the skull of his dead horse. The bones were bleached. And he said, and this is a famous animal that's going to cause my death. And he gave it a kick. But what he didn't know is there was a deadly viper that was in the skull. And he came out and went and bit Olag in the foot. And since they were so far away, they couldn't get him any help in time. And he died. So Olag, the wonderful, wise warrior, had his death by kicking the heart's skull. Oh, <laughs> my